Good morning, good evening, good night, wherever you may be watching this transmission across this great planet of ours. Toronto Condo Crash. Well, there's a web, there's a Facebook page called, and it's on Twitter, it's all over the place, called Toronto Condo Crash. So if you guys want to join it, it's at T.O. Condo Crash. And they're talking about here, you're seeing um, a condo. Sold May 2018 for 805000 just resold yesterday for seven ninety five. dollars We'll send reverbs around the area surely. However, also remember this unit overlooks the Don Valley Parkway, which is right across the bridge. So this is just an average condo, guys. This is nothing. This is like, is this a one or a two bedroom? I think it's a two bedroom, but it's, it's nothing spectacular. It's just a condo. You're going to be paying strata fees for the rest of your life. The, 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 the gloom and the, it's good for the first three months condo living. After three months, it gets to a point where, what am I doing here? Why am I cooked up in this box? It's good if you don't spend a lot of time at home living in a condo, in my opinion. If you, if you spend time more out, like if you're in a warm climate and you're out swimming at the beach, kayaking, you know, jogging. And you got a climate warm, a warm climate most of the year, right? Then I would advise to maybe have a condo. A condo is better if you're older, retired, and having a house is more of a um, handicap. Uh, when you have a big house and stuff, it becomes more of a handicap for you, a hindrance. But, but... It's, 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 it's good, at an, uh, but not for $805,000 or sold for seven nine five seven hundred ninety five thousand. So you know how it is, guys. It's Toronto Condo Crash Ripoff Day. Happy Tuesday to everybody out there. So today we're going to start with Toronto Condo Crash. Um, so I took my trusty calculator and we're going to go for the full amount on today's show. 795000 and I've been speaking about good weather. I lived in the state of Florida for five years, and I did really well there. So $795,000 Canadian works out to $603,000 American. American. All right. American, six hundred and three thousand. So I went with the full amount this time. Usually I do a hundred grand and make a lot of people mad at me with the amount of beautiful five bedroom homes you could buy for one hundred and fifty grand across America. But today we're going to focus on the state of Florida as usual. So I took I took the liberty to look up a few properties here for you guys, and this one here, oh, it's in a really good area in a very upscale area in Orlando. There it is, guys. It's a very beautiful house. It's 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 a mini mansion. It's got lots of bedrooms. And let's go here. Uh, five bedrooms, 3,500 square feet. But the house is just absolutely immaculate. It's uh, A lot of these homes do come furnished. But I, I would be kind of cautious on some of the furnishings because you might have to just dump it in the garbage. But this stuff doesn't look that bad at all, actually. Stuff you could keep for a long time. There's 50 photos. Wasn't posted long ago. When was it posted? Three days ago. Oh, Mike, these are the people living in New Zealand and Australia. Mike, this thing needs to go to auction. No, it doesn't. There's ones that sit here for a thousand years that never move. This one's got a full basketball court in it. Gorgeous house. There's no pool, though. I don't see a pool. You, We want to go with the pool. Oh, there is a pool. Never mind. There's a huge pool and a basketball court in this house. And it's 494000 The same price as this condo here in Toronto. Yeah. So let's keep going there. Oh, wow. Okay, so this house is actually a pretty big deal. It's it's connected to this. It's in a gated community, and you got this. So, oh, never mind. It's across the street from your house. So you got to cross the street to come here. So, you, like I said, better climate allows you to do things like this. Like, just... You'll, you'll, you'll play basketball. Like, well, Mike, I'm 46. Just be, go out and dribble the ball once in a while. You go out and do laps in these, look at these Olympic pools. You'll go out and it, catch some sun. Maybe play a little bit of tennis. You know, catch up with some friends. Look at this, a volleyball uh, net here on sand. Like you're in the beach. I mean, literally like you live in royalty. Water slide for the kids. It's all, oh yeah, it's right across the street. Oh, it's beautiful. And it's, an, and it's a public park, so you're going to have... It's going to be out there. See, in this, this neighborhood. Let's see what else we got here. Uh, 
See, this one's in uh, Chelsea Harbor, four ninety nine. Same price again, guys. Same price. Same price as a, a two bedroom condo in Toronto. Look at that beautiful interlock. Look at that long pool with the waterfall at the end. Ooh, property taxes. Oh, my God. Property taxes are $940 a year. Ah, I know people that pay seven grand, eight grand a year for property tax for an average house. My mom was paying like $7,700 a, a year for property tax. She, 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 they, they let her pay it in three-year, uh, um, three-time installments, like three times a year to pay. To pay. Yeah. <laughs> Let's keep going here. A lot of people uh, email me saying, Mike, stop doing these videos. They're really depressing me. I mean, like uh, right now at interest rates in the United States, uh, $450,000, you're paying around $1,300 a month. Um, $1,500, that's including property taxes and utilities, about $1,500 a month for a, ho a home like this. Okay. I'm just trying to find like really areas I know. Oh, oh this is in West Palm Beach. Ooh, where's this one? This one is in... Oh, Plant City. Plant City is a very up-and-coming young family area. A lot of young families are moving out of Miami. And they're actually moved. They're looking at Plant City. Plant City's small, though. But it is... It, everything starts out small. Look, 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 Fort Lauderdale started at nothing. Yeah, every, every, everybody went to Miami. Fort Lauderdale never existed until it started... Well, it existed, but I mean, it started to really grow and flourish, right? It used to be a gasoline town where people would stop when they were on their way from Jacksonville or other places uh, uh, or Daytona to stop for gas because they didn't have enough gas to make it to Miami. So they stopped in Fort Lauderdale. And there it is. Look at that, guys. Ah, so nice. Oh, look at this one. Beautiful house. Look at that beautiful. Look at the sky. Look at this backyard. Look at this, guys. Oh. Nice little entrance. It's a little entrance, but it's okay. You got this nice spacious area. You got real hardwood flooring there. That's real for sure. It's like mahogany. Little bathtub. The, the, the bathroom's a little bit small. But hey, you know what? I ain't gonna complain. Look, oh, it's got a fire pit in the back. You know what? I ain't gonna complain. You know why, guys? Because I'd rather pay $4.99 for this. It got a price cut of $20,000. And it's in Plantation too. Glenwood Plantation. I'd rather have that than buy this for seven ninety five. This this condo here, like, yeah. Let's see what we got. What do we got here for the same price? trying to find i'm just i'm looking at the areas so of the right oh, oh that one's is that one in, in, in that one's close to homestead this one's close to this is in miami it's close to close to down to the bottom close to homestead it's a tiny house but it's it's in like right in miami it's a five bedroom though so i mean it's smaller but it's in miami like you're in miami oh here we go this one's in oh okay 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 I know where this is. This is up closer to the Daytona area. This is a good one. This is a nice area to live in, actually. It's um, St. John's, Florida. Again, another area for young families to grow up and raise a family. Yeah. So on on a on a twenty five year uh, amortization, wow, a thousand dollars a year in property tax. Holy smokes, thousand dollars a year in property tax. I mean, there's people like I mean, like you'd have a good good week at work and make a thousand bucks in a week, like in, in a good week. You know what I'm saying? It's like this one here. This is in Riverview, Florida. I think I've driven through here. I've never been here. Like I've driven through. I don't even think I stopped for gas here, but it's nice. It's got a nice backyard. It doesn't have a pool though, so you don't have to worry about pool maintenance. But you do have this little thing to sit out back and. Talk to people and, you know. Ah, oh, beautiful home. Five bedrooms, three baths, four, 464. What a beautiful house. Look at this thing, guys. Look at that. Drive, lots of room on the drive. Distant from your neighbors. 
you couldn't care less what anyone else is up to around you. You could kind of be be with your family, raise your family, talk about what the kids did at school. And um, I wonder if this one comes furnished because this is all gray. I think they, they got this little motif going on in this house, and it looks nice. Oh, look at that. You got a little lake in your back here. They have a massage room here uh, with massage uh, chairs. Yeah, you live in absolute luxury for that much money. There's your backyard. Big backyard balcony. No pool, though. But you got a little river that goes behind you there. A lake. Yeah, we could stay here all day. Look at it. Oh, Mike, that's just three houses. Well, look, I'm on page four. It just keeps going, guys. Uh, 469. That one looks really nice, actually. Oh, this one's beautiful. This is in Winter Garden, Florida. Again, it's it's in Central Florida. Um, a lot of those areas are becoming more and more popular now with people selling in Miami and rebuying in Central Florida. So people in Florida are like, Mike, it's not easy for us here. Look at all these homes for sale. Nobody could afford to buy them. Yeah, people can afford to buy them, uh, but not from Florida, I guess. Or people, well, there, there's a lot of homes people live in, right? These are the ones that are just for sale, right? So this one, this one, this one on a 15-year uh, amortization is 2100 bucks a month. You know, you could do 20-year amortization and pay a little bit more and pay off your house faster. I could be here for hours. I mean, I could go to places like if you want to see like real huge, huge mansions. We could go to like Arizona and New Mexico right now is is booming in these areas. I mean, you could buy, look at these mansions. Look at this. this you could film Scarface in this thing. Look at this thing. Oh, yeah. The big ripoff. All right, let me let me make a few people upset. Let me make a few people upset out there. Sorry, guys. I, I don't mean to make you upset, but... All right, one to $200,000. <laughs> so, would you rather buy this condo in Toronto or three of... Let me buy three of here. There's a lot. Oh, wow, look at this one. In Orlando. It's a fixer-upper. 125. Let me find something nice. Here we go. A good standard home. That's what people, nobody wants more. There you go. Huntsville, Alabama, 165. Five bedrooms, uh, uh, three baths. Really nice. Well, that's it. And if you can work from home or whatnot, there's lots of jobs in these areas too. So you don't have to worry. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Look at this in Georgia. Look at nice, nice. A Clementine, I call them these like Clementine homes, like southern type homes. Five bedrooms, three baths, lots of land. Well, you get lots of land with this too. $940 a year in property tax. This one here is in Alice, Texas. It needs to be obviously painted on the outside. It needs a roof. But, I mean, this is great. It, these homes, when they were built back in the day, they were actually built to last. 149 You spend fifty grand uh, just repainting, resurfacing. The windows actually look good. The windows do not look like they need to be. You could probably maybe put a new bead of silicone around it. But then everything else, you could rip off these carpets. Uh, you could start to just repainting these rooms and stuff and, and, and cutting the grass and redoing some of the flooring. You know, $50,000, you get three Portuguese uh, workers in there. They get that thing done in five, four or five weeks. That place looks like immaculate. There's just so many homes. There's just so much. You know, didn't you want something more in the country? You could go to here to Oxford, North Carolina. This comes with a ton of land. You got your private entrance to go in, see? If you want something more secluded with land, there you go. Five bedrooms, three baths, $175,000. You don't have to worry about anything you here five bedrooms three baths huge house lots of land that's in georgia 
But like I said, guys, like there's, there's, I mean, I just, I want to create awareness and maybe doing something like this and showing people what they could buy for 114,000. I mean, so w w you want to buy f uh, basically one of these or in conversion to, can uh, to American dollars by four of these in conversion rate. Man, you could buy four of those across America, like different, different states. Yeah. Anyways, guys, let me know what you guys think. The great Canadian housing ripoff, it's all over. The great Australian housing ripoff, the great everything ripoff, New Zealand, UK. It's happening all over English-speaking countries. America's bring, being very tight on their um, immigration stance. So you're not seeing too many foreign investing coming in and swooping these up and just leaving them empty. So I think, you know, their way of doing things, their policy is saving their, I guess, their whatever their sovereignty or whatnot, right? But let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Thanks for shopping with me today. And uh, let me know in the comments below.